Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da abdu fillah dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembering Allah tabarak wa ta'ala often is the sifat of the mu'mineen it's one of the traits of the believers and by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember you and by being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this means a person is showing true gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their tongue in their actions and of course it emanates from the heart and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem fadhkuruni adhkurukum wa shkuruli wa la takfurun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says then mention me or remember me and I will remember you and be grateful to me and do not be of those who have ingratitude. The Prophet ﷺ said, said, <clears throat> وخير لكم من إنفاق الذهب والورق وخير لكم من أن تلقوا عدوكم فتضربوا عناقه عناقهم ويضربوا عناقكم قالوا بلى قال ذكر الله تعالى the Prophet ﷺ said, Shall I not tell you of that which is the best of your deeds and the most pure of them to your to the one who owns you, your Lord? And the most high in darajat, the high in levels or in uh you know, high in levels of reward and barakah. And that which is better for you than spending gold and paper currency. And that which is better than if you met your enemies and you struck their necks and they were to strike your necks. And the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, Ajma'een being having their hirs fil ilm, their want for ilm and nafiyah, for beneficial knowledge, because they wanted to know the haq, they wanted to know those things which brought them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, would help them worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. So they said, Bella. They said, Yes. The Prophet responded by saying, Dhikrullahi ta'ala. Remember Allah, the Almighty. And this is a hadith in Tirmidhi wa Ibn Majah. Wa you'll find it in Sahih Ibn Majah wa Sahih Tirmidhi. So it shows us the importance of the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that this is showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And dhikr is one of the best deeds you can do. If not the best deed that you can do. Just remembering Allah. But let's look for some details. Listen to what Imam Asadi says in his tafsir of the ayat that we mentioned that where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَذْكُرُونِي يَذْكُرُكُمْ وَشْكُرُونِي وَلَا تَقْفُرُونَ Imam Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned regarding this ayat he mentions where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَذْكُرُونِي يَذْكُرُكُمْ remember me and I will remember you he says فَأَمْرَ ta'ala بِذِكْرِهِ وَعَدَ عَلَيْهِ أَفْضَلْ جِزَاء وَهُوَ ذِكْرُهُ لِمَنْ ذَكَرَهُ كَمَا قَالَ تَعَالَى عَلَى لِسَانَ رَسُولِهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ مَنْ ذَكَرَنِي فِي نَفْسِهِ ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي نَفْسِي وَمَنْ ذَكَرَنِي فِي مَلَى ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي مَلَى خَيْرٍ مِنْهُ 
Imam Sa'adi said about the first part of the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, then remember me and I will remember you. Remember this is an imperative form. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding you to remember him. So dhikr is, is a wajib. You, you must make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially if you want a heart that is living. Imam Sa'adi said that Allah the Almighty has commanded with dhikr and he has promised the best uh, the best reward and he said and it is meaning the reward remembering the one who remembered him as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said on the tongue of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning hadith Qudsi where the prophet alayhi salatu wa uh, mentioned that Allah mentioned Whoever remembers me to himself, I will remember him to myself. And whoever remembers me, you know, in a in a crowd or you know when there's many people, then I will mention him in a, a gathering which is greater. Then Imam Sa'di he mentioned he said, "Dhikrullah Taala afdalahu ma tawa ma tawata." عليه القلب ولسان وهو الذكر الذي يثمر معرفة الله ومحبته وكثرة ثوابه والذكر هو راس الشكر فلهذا أمر به خصوصا ثم من بعده أمر بشكر عموما فقال واشكروا لي أي على ما أن عمت علي... عليكم بهذه النعم ودفعت عنكم صنوف نقم والشكر يكون بالقلب وإقرار بنعم واعتراف So Imam Sa'di then said about this he said that mentioning, uh, mentioning Allah remembering Allah is better uh, or the best way to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and the real authentic way is that which is in the heart and the tongue. And he said it is and it is the vic, the vicar, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fruits of that vicar is that one knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loves him. And that he will get kethra to thawab, that he'll get uh, immense reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that dhikr, remembering Allah, is the rasa shukr. It is the head of thankfulness or gratitude. And with this, Allah has commanded in, uh, specifically, and he has commanded with shukr in general. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically commanded with uh, remembering him and he has in general commanded to be thankful and grateful to him. And then where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Washkuruli and, and be grateful to me. He said that this means to be grateful on the na'ma that I have provided you, meaning Allah, what Allah has provided you uh, from the many blessings and for this blessing and the harm from the various types of harmful things that I have protected you from and that thankfulness it comes from uh, belief in the heart you know showing showing this belief in the heart and being grateful in the heart for the blessings and acknowledging it with the uh, and acknowledging it and by acknowledging it on the tongue by remembering Allah and praising Him and with the limbs by making ta'atillah and by having obedience to Allah and stern adherence to His commands and be avoiding his prohibitions. So thankful 
be uh, being grateful it is the reason for the for your uh your blessings to remain and for them being present present and they also the more that a person increases this thankfulness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases their blessings and the blessings uh, and the ni'am that was lost and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says li'an shakartum li uzidukum li uzidukum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and if you are thankful or grateful then I will increase you so Imam Sa'di mentions that by doing the command, following the command of being grateful after the blessing of the favors that Allah has provided you by giving you guidance in your deed and from ilm and knowledge, and purifying one's manners and tawfiq and their a'mal and you know and and, and uh, the blessings of their of, of being able to do righteous deeds that this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clarifying that this is one of the greatest blessings rather Imam Sa'di says he and he said rather that this is the real ni'mah, the real blessings and favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially the one who continues to uh, be regular in this these acts of ta'at, of, of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he mentions... That where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala takfurun in the ayat, and do not be ungrateful. And he used the word uh, takfurun from kufr. That this is in reference to kufr al ni'm. This is in reference to the kufr of ingratitude. This isn't kufr that you disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la. but this is kufr by rejecting. Uh, denying the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this kufr al-ni'm is the opposite of showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a lack of showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he mentions the various ways that you can show this ingratitude. He said, that there are many types of showing ingratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, the greatest of it is disbelieving in Allah, meaning the most severe way of showing your ingratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by disbelieving in him. Then the various types of ma'asi or sinfulness. And from them, and the greatest of that ma'asi is shirk. Billah is committing a form of shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, polytheism. And those are just some of the benefits of that ayah that Imam Sa'di mentioned. Rahmatullahi rahmatin wasi alayh. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was surely from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.